Here, eight semester students. So I'll be discussing uh, important questions of network security uh, for especially for uh, EC branch students. So what I have done is I have downloaded some important previous year question papers. Based on that, you, you can identify what are all the important questions uh, that will be asked in the examination. Moreover, in our channel, uh, we had already uh, prepared, uh, we have already covered the complete topics of the subject, namely network security. You can also go through that particular videos. Before that, uh, I'll be pointing out some important questions from each module. Now we'll look at uh, module one. So it is better to go, go through the topic, discuss the four principle of security in detail, each with a relevant examples. Definitely you'll be getting 10 marks. Then list the examples of application level attacks or network level attacks of each which has arisen in a real world. So better go for real time examples that will carry more weightage. Explain point by point wise. You have another options. Uh, discuss the active attack and passive attack in brief. You have to bifurcate what are the differences between active and passive attack. Explain the specific attack, uh, sniffing, uh, uh, spoofing, and phishing. What are the differences? Okay. Then describe the terms virus, worms, and cookies. Okay. Why cookies are required? What is the uh, significance of cookies? Suppose whenever you are using one website, sir, they will be giving some message like uh, enable the cookies. What is the significance? You can explain. Fine. So the uh, si similarly, I uh, will be showing you some more important questions from module one. So uh, look at another type of questions, uh, different skirting approaches you have to explain. Then security principle and explain two principles. All the repeat a question. Okay, definitely you can, uh, you can score 12 marks. If they ask you for 10 marks also, not, 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 not an issue. You have to explain the block diagram, explain the active and the passive attack. So it is very important that you have to study the topic active and the passive attack. It is confirmed. So what is the meaning of worm and uh, what significance between worm and virus? What is the difference? You have to explain, uh, you have to explain with the suitable examples that will carry more weightage. Uh, then uh, packet spoofing mentioned the three possible cases. So definitely you can refer our, our uh, videos, which is in our channel, definitely. Uh, you can go through once. Still, if you don't have the time to read the textbook, uh, just say sake of, we can say that uh, just it's just a part of uh, last minute's preparation. Fine. If you already studied uh, well before, then that will be great. But still, because of the tight schedule, if you could not focus uh, many topics, you can uh, uh, go through our channel. Definitely, that will help you out. Okay. So when it comes to another question paper. See the another type of question. Explain the operation of SSL record protocol with the neat sketch. Okay, this is another version uh, that is in the 15 scheme, but some topics check the syllabus once. Okay, uh, explain SSL transport layer protocol packet information. Module might be merged somewhere else. Okay, it, it might be with the second module or third module, but uh, you can check it up. Similarly, explain four phases of handshake protocol with the diagram, SSL uh, connection and SSL session in detail. Check the syllabus once, okay. Similarly, I have found out some another type of uh, 15, uh, 15 question paper, 15 scheme question paper. So these are the few expected questions from module one. Okay. It is basically 15 scheme only. Uh, better you focus on these two question paper, which I already mentioned. See, so uh, module one, you can focus uh, these two. Yeah. Fine. Anyone will be any similar kind of questions can be expected. Fine. Uh, marks may be different. Uh, so these are the probable questions. Similarly, these two. Because 15 scheme, uh, definitely uh, there will be a difference in the syllabus. There are, there are changes. So better you refer the latest or no, 18 scheme only you can refer. Because it is belong to your uh, subjects over syllabus. So please refer these. At least you will be getting uh, some percentage of questions from uh, this particular topic. Try to elaborate with the real-time examples. Fine. Okay. Now let me move on to module 2. So in the module two, let us see the questions. 
draw the secure socket layers protocol stack and describe the working details explain with the suitable block study the block diagram uh, practice it discuss the four stages of handshake protocol with the neat diagram okay then draw the secure shell protocol and describe the working in detail uh, what is the importance of https explain the connection initiation and uh, closure of http uh, in detail you should know what is http so you have to elaborate further these are the most important questions similarly let us see another type of another question papers explain the security uh, socket layers architecture describe the overall operation of record protocol in ssl explain the packet exchange uh, sequence in sss transport layer protocol then mention the types of security threat faced using the web that is very important question so similarly what are the purposes of https so that is also uh, giving more significance okay so the 15 scheme question i will show you at the end time being let us focus on uh, the latest question paper itself so to, from the question paper if you read thoroughly definitely uh, you can at least you can pass then module number 3 draw the flow chart of processing uh, for outbound packets and processing model inbound packets uh, what are the ip uh, what are the ip service and explain ips so you should know the ip services and explain with the suitable examples explain about ip sec uh, documents so you have to elaborate with the uh, significant technical details relevant technical details uh, with the neat diagram explain the scope of esp and krypton in uh, tunnel mode and transport mode you might have done uh, the internals definitely that will be helpful for you if you run the internals properly definitely you might have answered explain the internet key exchange process uh, using define hellman algorithm uh, with the suitable examples okay you have to explain the steps suitable uh, steps or if you have the flow chart uh, that would be better okay then explain the ip security architecture very important it is having the weightage of 10 marks mention the application of ip security then what are the benefits of ip security uh, so another set is explain the top level format of encapsulating security uh, playload packet then what is diffie hellman algorithm already repeated question you know uh, what are the attractive features okay you have to explain that algorithm effectively with the suitable examples and uh, a pros and cons Mention the uh, services of RFC 4301. If you search in internet also, you will be getting a lot of documents. Still, if you don't have the notes, don't worry. If you search that terms RFC 4301, you will be getting so many information. That is not more sufficient for clearing the examination. The, then let us see the module 4. Okay. In the module, from the module 4, uh, we will be getting some more questions like uh, name the three classes of uh, intruders. Describe the intruder behavior patterns. Explain the rule-based instruction uh, techniques, then uh, instruction detection, instruction detection, sorry, instruction detection. So it is having the weightage of uh, 10 marks. Okay. Explain with the uh, technical details, more technical details to be added. Explain the Malaysia software. What do you mean by Malaysia software? With the of example, you have to explain uh, Malaysia software. So those are uh, th th those are in computer science background also they can easily answer for these kind of questions. And uh, brief about multiple threat malware. You need to understand what is a malware and uh, what uh, you have to explain uh, in brief about the multiple threat. Describe the four phases of virus. So these are the probable questions. Let me see another set. Describe the parts and phases of computer virus. Mention the classification of virus by target. Describe the generation Sandy virus software. There are subdivisions. Answer appropriately with respect to the marks. Describe the typical steps in digital immune system operation for virus protection. Describe the requirement of effective uh, worm uh, counters measure scheme. Okay. So when it comes to module 5, explain the technique uh, that firewalls used. Okay. What are the limitations of firewalls? general type of questions those who having the basic degree in uh, it they can easily uh, answer these uh, what are the capabilities of firewalls you need to know the fundamentals of firewalls explain the following uh, types of firewall packet filtering firewall circuit level proxy firewall what are the common characteristics of uh, bastion host it is having the weightage of uh, 6 marks all right 
So let us move on to another set of questions. If you point out some of uh, these questions itself, definitely I am sure that you can uh, crack the examination with a uh, decent score. List out firewall characteristics and explain. Anyway, that firewall, that topic is very important. Uh, you'll be getting several type of questions based on firewall protection, all those things. What are the limitations of firewall? Easily we'll be getting five marks. What are the firewall attacks and uh, countermeasures? Name the type of firewalls and explain in the basic question only. Discuss the firewall configuration with a neat diagram with a suitable example. Go for the real-time example that carries more weightage. Where whatever you are writing, try to underline and highlight. Manage your time. That is another thing. These are the 18 scheme questions. Even uh, let me show you the 15 scheme question also because syllabus will be somewhat different because there's a shuffling of modules. Uh, then some topics might be added. Some topic might be uh, removed, optimized. Okay, some topic might be removed. So anyway, however, the concept will be same only. For your better men, kindly go through uh, these 15 scheme questions and pick out some important questions. Okay. Some questions, some check the syllabus also. Okay. So some questions might be repeated. Okay, if the repeated question means definitely it will be carried out for uh, this examination also. Okay, it is not mandatory that you have to go to 15 scheme, but some uh, points you can figure out, some uh, uh, some points you can find out that can be asked in the examination because uh, those, who are fine, uh, those who are making the questions and all, they will check the syllabus and frame the question based on that you can, but some uh, syllabus obviously that might be removed. So no, uh, don't uh, worry about such kind of topics. Okay, so just for your reference, I just uh, shown 15 scheme uh, syllabus also, but uh, found that uh, there are a lot of uh, dif uh, different that particular syllabus, there are a lot of uh, revamp, there are a lot of modifications. Okay. If if applicable, go through that. Okay, otherwise, no need, not needed. Anyway, you can focus on those two question paper, your scheme only, 18 scheme. Okay. So try to go through oh, the question uh, based on the previous uh, two or three years. Uh, definitely, I'm sure that you can clear the examination with a decent score. All right. So I wish you all the very best for your examination. Do well within the stipulated time. Uh, make a notes, brief notes, which can be remembered at the end of the uh, last minute preparation. Okay, still you have time, you prepare well. So I wish you all the very best for your examination. Uh, do well. Happy learning. Uh, thanks for watching this video.